Welcome to Elliptigo's online support videos. Riding one-handed is an important skill for several reasons. It requires development of the core muscles and improves balance and coordination on the Elliptigo. It enables you to signal confidently even while pedaling or braking. Third, it improves your riding posture by teaching how to draw your balance from your core and not from your hands and arms. This will greatly reduce the loads placed on your arms, wrists, and shoulders, which will make for a better workout and more comfortable riding, especially over long distances. We suggest you learn how to ride one-handed using your right hand on the handlebars. This is because proper signaling is done with the left hand and because the gear shifters are on the right side of the elliptigo. To begin, find a safe area that is closed off to cars and traffic. The best way to learn one-handed riding is to do it in phases. Our first goal is to learn to coast comfortably one-handed. There is a specific technique that will help you here. When coasting, have your left foot forward. This will give you a counterbalance to your right arm on the handlebars. You'll find yourself much more stable with your left foot forward than your right. To develop your one-handed coasting skills, begin riding normally until you have built up enough speed so that you can comfortably coast. Ride to one end of your test ride area and then start crossing along the longest straightaway. Put your left foot forward and stop pedaling. Now, center your weight over your legs and lift your left hand off of the handlebars. Make sure you are upright on the bike, drawing your balance from your core muscles, and keep your weight centered over your legs. Repeat this for 10 to 15 minutes until you are comfortable coasting with only your right hand on the handlebar. Once you are very comfortable coasting one-handed, it's time to move on to phase two, signaling. There are three basic bike signals left turn, right turn, and stopping. A left turn is indicated by sticking the left arm straight out from the shoulder. A right turn is indicated by bending the left arm 90 degrees so that the hand is pointing upwards and the upper arm is straight out to the side. Stopping is similar to the right turn, only the hand is pointing towards the ground. Go back to your test area and start your one-handed coasting again. Now stick your arm out like you're making a left turn. Get used to how that feels. Practice that a few times, then practice the right turn signal. Now let's practice some coasting turns. Here, we're going to get up enough speed to get you through the turn while coasting. Give your left hand turn signal indication, and then lean the bike to the left so you can make your left turn. Once you have left turns down, start practicing right turns. Give the right hand turn signal, and then lean the bike to the right so you can make your right turn. Again, this will take 10 to 20 minutes of practice per session and could require more than one session. Remember to keep your weight centered over your legs and to draw your balance from your core, not your right hand. Once you've mastered turning, it's time to learn how to ride one-handed while pedaling. Go back to your test area and start your one-handed coasting again. Now, when you're going across the path, Pedal while still keeping your left hand off of the handlebars. You'll want to sink down a bit in your stance and stay really focused on drawing your balance from your core while placing all of your weight on your legs. But feel free to coast if it helps you get your balance back. Once you're comfortable with riding one-handed in a straight line while pedaling, go ahead and add signaling and turning. The final phase to one-handed riding is learning how to ride one-handed while braking. When riding in groups, it can be helpful to give a signal that you are slowing down this is usually done either before or at the very beginning of braking. So it's usually done with the left hand so that the rear brakes, actuated by the right hand, are the ones doing the slowing. You should also give a loud oral warning slowing. that you are slowing and or stopping to alert other cyclists behind you. It should be a rare occurrence when you come to a complete stop one-handed. Go ahead and return to your test ride area to practice stopping one-handed. At first, Keep your left hand close to the handlebars and only slow down a little bit. Once you have a feel for it, while keeping your left hand close to the handlebars, work up to where you can come to a complete stop. After you've mastered all these techniques, you should have great posture and control of the bike, some well-developed core muscles, and the ability to ride comfortably and confidently around other cyclists for extended periods of time.